Hi there. Uh, this is a rapid fire round, okay? So I was just checking out whether uh, my viewer is actually understanding anything or he's just watching the video tutorial series, you know? In the last video, we discussed about uh, the logic gate uh, algorithm implementation, right? So did you get a doubt about the output functions, how M1, M2, M3, M4 are actually assigned as forward, left, or right binary, you know, binary assignments? So I thought of clarifying the actual details regarding the motor output functions, okay? I bet you, you would have understood uh, the sensor part, right? S1, S2, S3. If uh, sensor is in black, it is 1. If it's not in black, it is 0. You would have absolutely understood that part easily. But the output parts, I'm going to explain it to you now, okay? Uh, now, in our line follower robot, I have considered that this is our top view of our robot, okay? And this will have two wheels. This is the top view again, okay? And we'll have a caster ball here. This is not a wheel. Only two wheels are needed for our robot, okay? So we'll have two DC motors, right? And we'll have a S1, S2, S3 sensor here. S1, S2, and S3, which are facing towards the floor, watching for the line, okay? So we have two DC motors here, and DC motors will have two terminals, right? One is uh, we can give plus or minus to either of the terminals. So on the first DC motor, let's consider this is the part, uh, this is the forward direction for the robot, and this is the first uh, DC motor D1. Okay, and this is the second DC motor D2. Okay, so you can see that these are actually placed in opposite direction. Okay, so if I you know t uh, tell you that if I give plus here and the minus here. The DC motor actually spins in this direction, okay? This direction, then the motor, uh, the bot will go uh, like this in that direction, right? In the forward direction. But if I give the same plus and minus here, this motor will actually be turning in the opposite direction because I have faced it in the opposite way. If I keep this motor here and place it like this and give a plus minus here, then it will rotate in this direction. That So that is why we have to give opposite kind of a binary assignment to these two DC motors because they are oppositely phased and placed, okay? So, uh, coming to coming back, uh, this is DC motor D1 and this is M1, M2, its values for output. This is the wheel and this is the DC motor uh, uh, D2. This is placed like this. This is the wheel and this is M3 and M4, okay? So now I will tell you how this works, M1, M2, M3, M4 and I will assume that if I give, if I give 1 here and 0 here and 0 here and uh, 1 here, okay, uh, let's make this as M4 and this one as M3 just for convention, M3, 0 here and 1 here, that is uh, you should be knowing that 1 is plus volts, plus volts, uh, positive voltage and zero is your uh, negative voltage of DC, okay, direct current voltage. So let's assume that if I give one here and zero here, this will turn in this direction and zero here and one here, this will turn in this direction. So uh, if I place it uh, like this on the robot, so the robot will actually go in the forward direction, right? Right? So this is the condition that I will put for forward condition, okay? So, writing the values here for forward condition, we can write the value as 1, 0, 0, 1, right, as seen here, for M1, M2, M3, and M4. So, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, that is how I had assumed it in the last video tutorial, okay. So, this is for forward, and let's say the motor, uh, the robot has to turn to the left side. It has to go like that. So what I have to do is I have to rotate these this DC motor in the reverse direction, back side, and I have to rotate this in the forward direction. So this is happening uh, like this, and actually the board turns to the left uh, direction, right? So for the left side, so this has to the D2 motor has to turn forward. So this is zero one is correct. So let's write M3 is zero, M4 is one, and but the motor D1 has to turn to the back side, right, in the reverse direction. So I have to reverse these two binary assumptions. So what I will do is, I will 
reverse that and I will write it as 0 and 1 uh, this is correct right yeah I bet this is correct and uh, 0 and 1 okay mm. so now uh, to make the robot go to the right I have to rotate the motor D2 to the back side and I have to rotate the motor D1 to the front side right so D1 will be rotating to the front side so I will change this back to uh, 1 0 right 1 0 this is forward for motor uh, D1 forward this is reverse for motor D1 so uh, forward and the motor D2 has to come reverse so that my robot will turn like this and it will turn to the right side right so uh, coming to this part of course this will uh, be the reverse because we are turning this re uh, to the reverse side 1 0 so writing that 1 0 so this is how we actually got the output equations and forward is 1 0 0 1 left is 0 1 0 1 uh, right is 1 0 1 0 this is how I actually assigned it to the actual algorithm so uh, I guess you are clear with this doubt now and uh, on the next part we will be looking at the um, sensors and uh, actual you know hardware implementation of the uh, logic gate robot no more waiting okay see ya